episode of Deadly Discussions, proudly sponsored by Quick Coffee Canning Vale and Something Wild Australia. Today's guest joining me is an Aquinas College first and <laughs> South Fremantle cold superstar defender. He has the ability to dominate in the aerial contest <laughs> at both ends of the ground. He earned a spot in the PSA Team of the Year and also earned a spot in the WA Under 18 State Squad. He's one of my best mates at camp. Thank you for sitting down with us today. Tills, thanks for joining us. Uh, thanks for having me. <laughs> First of all, how good's the setup? Oh, I'm loving it. It's good. Uh, we've got the proper mics, and jerseys, you know. Yep, I even released a trailer on Instagram page today. Um, I apologise in advance if I'm in the mood. Obviously, my team lost last night, Port Adelaide. Understandable. Um, and Brisbane and Geelong are currently playing right now. We're going to get straight into it. Um, on the 2020 footy season, obviously your team, Aquinas, or well, our team, Aquinas and South Fruit, uh, Aquinas finished second in the PSA. And South Freo missed out in the finals by percentage. How disappointing was it to not only miss out on the ARCO, but also the Waffle Colts final series, and what do you take out of that? Uh, well, firstly, with the ARCO, with the amount of talent we had and the great bunch of blokes that we had on the team, it was very disappointing because we knew we had what it takes, but we let it slip in a few easy games. Yep. And then Colts, uh, we didn't play two games, but those two games that really felt like home that we were going like, to do yeah, something yeah. now. Yep. But yeah, exactly. Disappointed to miss out with East Fremantle winning last game. Yeah, and obviously you had an individual, uh, individually you had an impressive season. You dominated up forward and in the back line, um, mainly the back line, and you had a few best on ground games. Which one of your performances was your favourite this year and why? Uh, first time in the skill for sure. Uh, I, my most touches in game, uh, thirteen marks. How many touches did you have? 28. Because I heard you counted yourself. I, I did count myself. <laughs> I rewatched the whole game. Yeah. I counted about 28. Yeah, don't worry. We all do that, mate. Yeah. I needed to because I felt like I played all right that game. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, oh. And you've played under two new coaches this year, Quinton Lynch and Larry Cavallo. Lynchy was good because, you know, he gave you that versatility. Oh, well, you already had the versatility, but he gave you the opportunity to display it. And Laz, you know, he creates that fierce mentality towards training and games. What have you taken from those two coaches this season? Uh, from Lynchy, obviously, like, to work hard, speak up, be a leader. Like, don't be afraid to talk up, especially with, like, being year 11, soon to be year 12. Like, we should be able to speak and, like, and put a word out to, like, our teammates to be better. Yeah. To, like, try and be the best. And then Larry, he, like, seriously needs to be. He can have fun at training, but then he loves being around us. And, like, yeah. just always have fun at training. Don't take life too seriously. Yep. And another reason I love both these coaches is like just some of the phrases they use. Um, like you hear Lynchy the non-negotiables and yeah. hundred minutes of footy. Yeah. Tell us your favourite phrase used by one of the coaches or multiple phrases. Uh, well, Larry, he definitely loves quite a few. Definitely for me, it would be like when people someone fingered. Like, <laughs> they're obviously tired. Yeah. They always like to say that we're fingered. Even if you fingered, you got to keep running. Yep. And then a few times in the change rooms, we'll be looking at like the board and who have a video playing and it'll like pause for a bit and he'll start saying oh it should be a circle work <laughs> when that loading signal yeah, comes up loading, yeah. yep <laughs> no that's awesome um and we'll move on to the state 18s you made the wa squad on your birthday mm. that's a pretty good birthday present yeah. what was your initial reaction when you found out that you made the squad i was pretty surprised and shocked because i thought there was a few big names in the like the team yeah but when i first got the email mum nearly deleted it she <laughs> thought it was like basketball or some trashy email <laughs> just didn't get it. nearly swiped the cross on it but luckily she didn't yep yeah. um so how does it go what like how did the what was the process from when you got the email and on so the email was talking about training so yep. we finished the the waffle teams they finished and then straight into training t- tuesday thursday and game saturday yep for two weeks yep and you just played your second game today yeah as you go today. not too bad i was feel like i could have been better but being one of the youngest on the field and just having that experience, I think, was good for me. Yeah, and like you said, there's a lot of quality players. Some boys are going to get drafted this year. Um, I think you were one of five underage boys. Is that right? Uh, about that. Yeah. What about that opportunity excites you the most? Um, obviously, like, playing against WA's best people, like, best players, because they've shown all year. Yep. I was lucky enough to get, like, picked for the team. I just love being out there and being challenged to play the best you can yep um, and who are some of the players that you still find it surreal that you're playing with or against uh, definitely um, Logan McDonald and Denver Granger Bryce yep um, like Logan obviously he's 
talented. He's going to go top five. Yep. Denver is going to go top ten. And then especially with Denver, I see him someone I could be like when I'm older. Like, yeah. As in playing-wise or... Like playing-wise. I think I can be as talented as he is. Like, yeah. I already have like some marking ability, but to yeah, take yeah. to the next level and be like him would be like what I want to be. Yeah. Um, and PSA football. So PSA is completely different to you know Colts leagues and all that. It has its own culture. And the atmosphere from the fans, it like just builds up and it's awesome. So the PSA is the Public Schools Association here in WA. Yeah. Um, it has seven teams, Aquinas College, Scotch College, Christchurch Grammar, Hale School, Guildford Grammar, Wesley College and Trinity College. I loved playing PSA footy. It was awesome. You know, you can enjoy yourself with your mates and it's a lot of fun. Tell us from your perspective what it's like playing school footy. Uh, a lot of fun being with like the mates you've like been at school with, you've been playing with them, like your year and the older years, like all those blokes are like talented, funny to be around, it training, yeah. exciting. Yeah, yeah. Even in the bad times when you lose, it's like still make fun out of it. Yeah. Yeah. Just love being there. Yeah, I love playing with my schoolmates as well, and it just builds those relationships on the field and off field as well. For life, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Um. So just on teammates, which boys have you and played enjoyed playing with this season? Um. Definitely Dusty Marshall. He's um. Plays backline. We love Dusty. Shout out to Dusty. Similar to me. Um. Obviously, backline clumped a few when I wasn't playing. Even when I was, he would stand out in the backline. Yeah. Yeah. And then probably Mitch in it like being able to take the mark and he's just there handball or kick straight to him it's like dynamic joy pretty much right what about away from the back line who are some of the boys you love playing with um well like you love playing with the whole team but who, who's you know maybe someone that's like fast or loves to kick goals well perhaps a small fault small small forward pocket definitely Coop of Vinicom. oh yes yes Vinicom, yeah. we love Coop he, shout out to Coop yeah. as well he was um <laughs> exciting kicked a few nice goals a funny bloke yeah, like, taught us a lot about the afters all the time. <laughs> yeah, and so we do have, we did have a very talented group, and I assume we'll have one next year. Um, we're gonna have so there was nine year elevens that played this year, and next year they're obviously gonna be the year twelves, and we've got a lot of young boys coming in, and I've heard a lot about them, and they're all good. Um, do you think we have what it takes to win the Arco in twenty twenty one? I'd say definitely we have a, like what it takes. We've um. Obviously, good this year. We have a lot of talent coming up, yep. and the people that have already played can be the leaders of the team, like the whole leadership group, and like teach everyone else how to play like that style of first footy and yep. win the outcome. Yeah, yeah, yep. There was a right answer, and you got correct. Um, so we're gonna move away from footy now. Yep. Uh, we're gonna get to know you off field because we already know you off field. But um, some of the fans, you know, they don't know you too much. No, Just obviously. getting your notes ready. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Sure. Um, so this one's for the people that don't know Lachlan Turley off field. Um, how would your ma- mates describe you? Um, I'd say quiet, like hard working at times, and then sort of like a listener. Some of that yeah, just listens. I can see that. Like, that doesn't like talk out of line. Just wants to learn from other people. Yeah. Um, and what do you like to do outside of footy? What are some of your hobbies? Um, like what everyone does at the beach. I love hanging out with mates. Yep. Um, playing basketball with everyone. Even though it's like not my favourite sport, but yep. I still love doing it with everyone. Um, I, anything to do with a sport, I'll go and play it with someone. Yeah, and just on basketball, um, you play first at school. Yeah. This is your first year in first, yep. and you have a half court at home. Tell us about your relationship with basketball. Um, well, obviously I play at school, but it's not my favourite sport, and I don't really usually like trying in basketball, but yep. when I have to, I obviously will. Yeah. I'd rather just like play as a community sport and have yeah. fun with everyone. Yeah, yeah, I'm the same. Me down in thirds with a few other boys. Um, this next segment it's called Ten Deadly Cues. So I'm gonna ask you ten random questions. All right, mm-hmm. you. All right. They're not too random to you because you've already got them. Yeah. Um, Make sure I got a good answer. All right, number one. If you could take anyone to the Brownlow, who would it be? As a date, obviously. Um, so recently I've watched <laughs> Out of Banks. Yep. I watched it for the second time. Yeah. It was that good. Sarah Cameron. Sarah Cameron, <laughs> Madison Klein. Yep. She's just a crush. Definitely would take her. Yep, nice. Um, number two, what's your favourite colour? Uh, I'd say either blue or purple. Obviously, I support Dockers. Yep. It's like purple and then blue. My eyes are blue. I love that colour. Like yep. A bright blue. Alright, and number three, do you have any pet peeves? Um, there's definitely a few, but yep. the main one is people that talk too much. Oh, we know a few of them, don't we? We, we know a few chat boxes <laughs> that don't want to stop talking. Do you want to name one? <laughs> I will. Yeah. 
Lucas Christie. Yep. Shout out to him. Yep. He just does not want to shut up ever. He, it's like a motor mouth. It's like run by an engine and it yeah. never stops. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, number four. What would your superpower be? Uh, well, I'm not the quickest, so I'd probably go like super speed. Like yeah. run everywhere like the Flash. Yeah, well, I already got that, so I would probably choose something else. Maybe well, I'll go super strength. I already got that too. So. No, you don't. All right, number five. This one, I'm just going to set the scene here. Mm-hmm. Um, let's say we're at, <laughs> we're at a party. There's a really cute chick on the other side of the room. Yeah. You walk over to her. What's your pickup line? I've tried this one before. Didn't go well. <laughs> It'd be, there's something wrong with my phone. Your number's not in it. Oh, something like that, just to start it off. We love that one. <laughs> have a conversation with her. Yeah, and what did she say? Like... Nope. When I tried it, it didn't work well. She like <laughs> left me on red on oh. Snapchat, but oh no, I've seen better days. Yep. All right, <laughs> number six. What would you What would you do if you were LeBron James for a day? Um. Well, he earns a lot, so I'd probably spend a bit of money for my family, like yep. buy them houses, cars, like the essentials. Yep. Definitely, I'd do that. But he's got a big house, like cool backyard. I definitely like just relax, hang out, relax, live the out, life, live the life. Yep. Yeah. All right. Um. On a scale of 1 to 10, interpret this how you want, how smart are you? Uh, if it's based off school, I'd say like a 7. Yep. But my mum always So you're saying me. you're at 70%? Yeah. Oh, maybe or, six, six, oh, 6 out of 10 maybe. But yeah. Well, I, I just want to say something. Um, Perth school is very hard. Yeah. It's, it's a lot it's different. Very, I've got a lot of people that I know in Darwin, and they're all smashing it. They're killing school. Yeah. And I think, wait a minute. If, if you come to Perth... You're not going to be the same. You're going to struggle. So, yeah. that's probably a six in Perth, but um maybe towards an eight or nine in Darwin. Yeah. Yeah. But I'll add on to that. <laughs> yeah. I could be doing better. Yeah. Except sometimes I'm kind of lazy. I don't. I don't like trying hard at school. I'd rather just <coughs> hang around with everyone, have a chat. Yeah. Yeah. Don't want to be too sweaty. Like obviously, want to make it out of school alive. Yeah. But yeah. Um. Yeah. I'm pretty smart myself. I'd probably maybe a towards four. eleven. I'd say more of a four, maybe. Nah, nah, I'm an 11. Um, oh, I haven't seen if you could yet. be an animal for a day, what would it be? For a day? Probably a dolphin. Or just in general? Oh, for, I'd forever. definitely say dolphin. Like, Why dolphin? Roam around, just like be free. Not a lion? Not a lion, nah. It's pretty boring, like, run out of food, maybe. Like, you're living in the desert or like... The hunting's full. But a dolphin, there's just fish everywhere, coral, like, all that stuff in the water. Yeah, that's why more exploring. And it's cold, swim everywhere. Yep. It's just lovely. What is something... Oh, this is question number nine, by the way. What is something that you're horrible at that you wish you were good at? I'm pretty I, good see, at I already thought about this for you, and I was thinking footy. Yeah, I did write... <laughs> I wrote that down earlier. Yeah. Nah, give me a serious answer. Uh, answer. Honestly, I, I'm not sure. I'm like... Not bad at most... I'm classified as a sportsman, as Ari Cavallo said. <laughs> so I can play more than one sport. Yep. But outside of sport, I'm pretty bad at most things. Like school, I could be better at that. Uh, I feel like you're selling yourself short. You're not. You're not bad at school. You're just not amazing. Yeah. Yeah, but one thing that I could be better at is like talking to girls. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You know, I've like. You know, you know this going on YouTube. Yeah, it's going on YouTube. Actually, shout out to all the girls that <laughs> think he's interesting. Yeah. Um. All right, number ten. This one's a bit more close to the heart. This is a bit more serious. Yeah. How do you want to be remembered as a person? Um. Someone who's respectful but also respected by everyone, um, kind, a good character. Yep. Like good to talk to. Can, yep. Can be approached and easily talk to. Like someone that is always there for friends and mates, even if he's not going. Yeah, I can. Ag- I can agree with most of them. Um, all of them. Sorry. Now yeah. this next, <laughs> this next segment. This one's a bit late, so excuse me if I'm rusty. Um, it's how? It's alright. It's Here called Dirty on Turley. I went, I went around today fishing, you know, just fishing for stories, um, just on you. Obviously, none that are in a, too inappropriate. Some that <laughs> we'll, we'll keep it on, yeah. on the air. Um, keep PG. Yeah, PG. Yeah. Uh, but speak of fishing, mate, why is your name Fishy Tail on Snapchat? <laughs> so, there's not, like, a real reason, but <laughs> for some reason at school, I'm getting a lot of shit for it. Yeah. I'll say this. I was young when I made the account. Yep. <laughs> And, like, I used to, like, stay in the pool all day back when I was younger. Yeah, yeah. And my neighbour started calling me Fish. Your neighbour? My neighbour, because I was in his pool with, like, his son. Yeah. And so he started calling me Fish. And then, 
like I was getting called out every day by him. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, I'll make a Snapchat account. Yeah. And I was obviously young. And so. Yeah, I know what you mean. Um, I used to have like my own little one. You know, I know, I know exactly where you're coming from. I used to, I think, even to this day, I still play with Rip Socks. Um, yeah. some of my aunts don't call me Socks, so that uh, that'd be yeah. if I put my Snapchat name yeah. as Socks. Yeah. But, <laughs> um, but I've like, f- yeah, go. One more thing, I've like always wanted to change it, but like I've made one. <laughs> yeah. But I've never like. Wanted to change it, like, yeah, because you lose all your. I have to read everyone, like yep. Snap Score, all the stuff I've saved on there. Yeah, I'm yeah. Gonna have to like move it across somehow, but not yet. Yeah, um, we've got another story from. Uh, we mentioned him before, Motor Mouth. Uh, yeah. A few people would remember this one. So we're playing rugby in the backyard. Uh, it was, it's ages ago now, um, and I think I think it might have been me. I've just come in and I've just cleaned you up, and you you're lying on the ground crying basically, and you've grabbed your chest. And then you're like, <laughs> yeah. And then you're like, oh. sternum. I still hear to this day that your sternum's pretty sore. Well, the true story was we went to bounce and I landed it <laughs> awkwardly on trampoline. <laughs> my sternum was sore for like four weeks. I'm yep. not gonna lie. Yep. And I complained about it a lot. Did you get it checked out? I didn't get it checked <laughs> out. My mum's like not serious with like hospitals or anything. Yep. So like she never took me. Yep. Uh, he's broken his arm. Don't worry about yeah, it. Yeah, I've gone like quite a bit for the school. Like, yeah, still comes up to this day. Yep. Um, now this one I didn't have to fish for. This one's my story. Um, so I've invited you to Darwin. You've come up and we're with my family. You've never met them before. I I don't know if you know where this is going. I think I know. <laughs> I think I do. And um, we're in the car, right? And it's me and my family, or friends and family. Um, and you know. There's certain words that people right. can't. There's certain words of you know you got that You're skin color. Yeah. Um. So there's certain words that people with that skin color can't really say. Yeah. Um. For now, we'll just classify that as orange. Yeah. Let's say the words orange. orange. Um. And there's this Chris Brown song that comes on, and there's four of us, four of my skin color people in the car. Yeah. And then there's you. Yeah. In the back corner. Yeah. <laughs> so Chris Brown song comes on, and there's one part where it goes. What up, my orange? Big ups, my orange. We up, my orange. You blah, 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 orange. Man, F your orange. Because I'm that orange, 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 orange. And then this next part goes, I'm that orange. And in the back, all we hear hear is you at the top of your lungs. I'm that orange. (laughs) It was Um, the most awkward five seconds of my life. Everyone's just stopped and stared at you. (laughs) Oh, my goodness. That was, um... It was obviously a mistake. Yeah. I was like, I've heard the song before. I was going on with it. I was singing it, and then I was like, Oh no! <laughs> you, you know what's funny is no one actually sang that part. They were singing "What Up, My Orange." Everyone was singing that, and then yeah. out of nowhere, everyone's just gone quiet, and you're just in the back. <laughs> I'm that orange. Yeah, I forgot where I was. Like, yeah, obviously I was like, sorry about it, because I. Yeah. I was like, oh no, that was an accident. <laughs> Got over right. it pretty quick. Yeah. All right, we'll we'll move on from um dirty turly. Next one's called Know Your Boots. So, I'm a boot lover. I love yeah. all my boots. I love selecting them, playing in them. Um, you know, I, I range from from pink to blue to black to white. First of all, how many pairs of boots do you own? Uh, I had two. Yep. But recently chucked a pair out that had ripped in half. Yep. What were they? The Predators? Predators, yeah. Yep. Um, yep, so, you've got one right now? I've got one pair, yeah. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> well, it's, it's no, I'm joking. Enough. I'm joking. Yeah. I've got, I've got seven, but seven, I, seven plus five, maybe. Nah, nah, just the seven. Just seven. I only play in a few though. Yeah. Um, what what wheels are you currently rocking? Do you want to get them up for us? Yeah. Show the camera. So um, right now, testimonials, trustworthy Asics always. Yeah. The long shoe laces as well. Orange and black, just the good colours, you know. Yeah. Um, do you have a favourite pair of all time? Not really. I'm sort of just buy the boots, wear them. Yeah. Play whatever you're feeling at the whatever time. I feel like, yeah. Um, and what's your favorite brand? I'm a Nike and Adidas man myself. Well, if it's like clothes, I would like I'd like Nike. Yep. Now nah, we're talking boots. No, your boots. boots? Yep. Definitely. Oh, Asics. Yep. They're just like structured well, like comfy, yep. cushioned well. Yep. Yeah. 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 Um, I get that it's for people with fat feet. Pretty much. <laughs> anyway, uh, we'll move on. I've obviously got um, two sponsors, mm-hmm. Quick Copy Canning Vale, Something Wild Australia. Yeah. Um, so I proposed something to Quick Copy Canning Vale. They're a printing 
and pay for business. And I've designed footy cards. And I was thinking, what if I design a card for people that come on the podcast? And I've told them that. And they've said, yeah, sure, we can print that out. So I've designed the card. Quick copy, I've made it. I've got 14 cards right here. Yep. All for you. Yep. Oh, well, I'll keep some. Right. But there's something I want to do with that. You can have a look at them. Um, show the camera. Just look at any of them. Yeah, yep. So they've got the front. They've got just your picture, your two teams, and then on the back they've got you know a bit of a description. Yeah. Um, first of all, do you like the card? Uh, I think it's pretty clean. I've never seen a quality football card like this. Photo's a bit off. Could have been a better one, but. I'm well, wondering. actually, on that note, I asked you for a photo, and you're like, "Yeah, I'll send it tomorrow." Well, like, why can't you send it now? Is that what happened? Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's know. exactly what happened. Yeah, right. So then I had to go fishing on. Um, and so this is what's going to work. You're obviously going to get some. Uh, I'll keep some. Yeah. But there's going to be one that I'll get you to sign right now. Mm-hmm. So do you have a signature? I do actually. Nice. Um, just do you want to just yep sign the front one? All right. Is it anywhere? Just on the, the, preferably on the photo. On the photo. All right. Yeah. Come on, mate. Make it a bit bigger. Oh, should I do it on another one? <laughs> yeah, do it on another one. I'll keep that one. That one's too bad. Do it big. Do it big. Do it across. Don't worry. Just, <laughs> oh, mate. That's all right. That's good enough, I'd say. All right, give us one more. Go on upwards, though. Do it. Yeah, do it. Just all over the... Like, pretend this is a piece of paper in the box, and it says, sign in the box. All sign right, the whole right. thing. Okay, I got it now. Yes, there we there go. go. Alright, so just for the listeners, that's the card. We'll show you a bit of a montage of them after. Um, so what I was thinking is I'll get a, some cards, you'll get some. Yep. And you see this blank space here on this wall? Yeah, I see that. I'm going to get something sticky on the back. Yep. I'm going to put it up for future podcasts. Yep. And then just letting everyone know, if you come on the podcast, you will get a card. Um, and this will be the same for future people. So as I go on, the podcast goes on, it'll slowly build up and we'll have heaps of people on the podcast. And, you know, the more you come on, I've got just these basic ones at the moment, but as we come on, you know, you get better designs and different, yeah, Yeah. special cards, you know, 2.0, deadly discussions. Um, Yep. So that will build up and that's basically what's going to go on. Turley, we're nearly finished here. Um, I've got two final questions. Go ahead. What team do you support and who's going to win the AFL Premiership? Well, support Fremantle, I said it earlier. Yep. It's disappointing, obviously, but we've got a <laughs> bright future. As it always is with Freo. We've got a bright future. <laughs> the young guns have re-signed. We're looking good for like the next five years. Hopefully, we're going to premiership in the next ten, yep. hopefully. Yeah. And then, obviously, Lucky Neil, past Docker, ex-Fremantle player. He's gone to Brisbane. I think they have a high chance. Grand Finals in Gabba. Yep. They're playing Geelong as we speak, and I think they have a real, real big chance of winning it. Awesome. Um... That concludes our first episode of Deadly Discussions. Congratulations for coming on. Thanks for um, having me. It's all good. It's been awesome. Um, first, uh, not firstly, thank you to Something Wild Australia and Quick Copy Canning Vale, especially Quick Copy for these cards. They're awesome. Um, we love them. And that concludes our first episode of Deadly Discussions. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> it got better. I reckon I wasn't there. Before. Nah, I was like, oof, it's actually gonna be Oh, that's awesome. Oh no, it wasn't filming. No.